first video like this, super informal, but that's okay. I'm gonna close my blinds so my neighbors can't see me being a crazy person talking to myself. Okay. So, tonight I am making a vision board and I thought that I would videotape it just to kind of go over like what the process is and everything. I might not videotape every in and out of it, but I'll explain kind of like what I'm using. So, um, let's as get to it. As far as things that you're going to need, you're going to need some skizzers, your goals or your visions for the year. Um, you will need some clothespins just because I couldn't find any more of these little tiny gold little binder clips. So I thought that those would look cute as well. And then I got this at Target. This is a wall organizer. It came with those clips. It was nine bucks, super cheap. And um, it's kind of a great size. Here, let me see comparison. So like, those are my toes, that's comparison. I just have it on this whiteboard because I want it to, want things to kind of stand out for you guys. But it's a great size just because it isn't huge to where you have like so many different visions. You kind of want to start small with a vision board. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. I mean, but if you are okay with overwhelming yourself, just go for it, girl. However, personally, I can tell you giving yourself way too many goals for the year or way too many visions, things that you want to fulfill. Sometimes you can be let down when you don't fulfill them all. So this is just the perfect size. I'm currently trying to find a good pen to write with. And I just had to kick Nala off of the vision board. Nala, where are you? Oh, I'm all like pointing to the trash over here. Nala, hey. You say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. She just loves to get into everything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go through all my visions. And I'm going to label them. These might not make sense to you. I'm going to label them just so I know. <laughs> I know you may think that's kind of weird, but hey, what if I forget why I put that there or that there? I don't know. I don't know. I just like to be detailed. Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge okay. me. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut around all of these and just kind of make them uniform or however you want to cut them out. Um, most of you will probably use color, however, I was out of colored ink, so sometimes you just gotta deal with what you're given. <laughs> place them however you want on the board with clippies. I will show the finished product soon. Each. Kevin's gonna make commentary in the background. And he decides to vacuum! I'm vacuuming in a blanket too, that's nice. He broke glass earlier, so that's what he's doing. So this will continue momentarily. Kevin has done has done vacuuming. Let's get into the explanation of this. Okay, so this first one. Obviously, it says heal old wounds. You guys, shh, can you hear my cats in the background over there? Heal old wounds. Um, this is kind of a vision for me just because it's important to me. I have a lot of things that I kind of hold on to, that I have been holding on to for the past a little over a year or so. So I want to let those go. And part of how I'm going to heal those is going to be with essential oils. Um, develop a new schedule. I actually already started this. I wanted to wake up earlier, start working out, making myself breakfast in the morning, and then um, getting to work on time. 
So I'm starting with one thing at a time. So I'm starting to get into the schedule of like waking up early every day. And then next I'll throw in like working out and then, you know, etc. Um, this one's super important, I think, for anybody to just let go and trust God's plan. Sometimes we want everything to go our way um, and when we want it. But sometimes that is not when it's planned to. So you just got to trust it. Over here, pick your battles. Um, I've always struggled with this, and it's something that I want to work on this year just because I need to learn to pick my battles. I need to learn when to not get frustrated about something, if it's at work or at home. Okay. So, this one, um, this is a huge vision for me this year. A trip to um, New York around Christmas time. It's been like a dream of mine, so we kind of talked about it last year, so hopefully it'll happen. Um, buying a house with Bear, that's super important for us. Spending less on crap we don't need, because everybody needs to do that. Um, help Kevin to graduate. Right here in the middle, it's time for a new job. Um, I'm done wasting my time at jobs that just don't do me any good. So, yeah, gonna get a new job, something hopefully that's more uplifting and something that I love going to work to every day. And oh my goodness, get a puppy. I have been begging Kevin for a dog for, how long have I been begging you? A year? Where is he? No, it's been longer than that. But. I want a German Shepherd. We will see if that happens. Um, exercise more. I forgot to print out like a little vision for it, but um, organize and minimalize. So this year I want to organize more and minimalize. So get rid of shit that we don't need. And then last, I want to purchase my camera. That is super important to me. I have been wanting to do that. I just have to save up for it. So yeah. That is an explanation of my vision board. Um, of course, I have more goals, but I haven't actually sat down and intentionally made my goals ever. So this is kind of cool and important for me. And so yeah, that is it for my vision board. First video, go me.